Have you ever wondered how God shows his love for us? It's a question that invites us to pause and reflect, to look beyond the surface of our daily routines and seek the larger divine narrative at play. This love, this divine affection that we're speaking of, is not just any love. It is an all-encompassing, ever-present love that is as old as time itself. Throughout this video, we'll take a journey, a journey that is as much about introspection as it is about exploration. We'll delve into different ways that God's love is shown to us, using stories that span millennia, from biblical times to our modern world. We'll uncover the mystery, the beauty, and the transformative power of God's love. Get ready to be inspired, to be moved, and to see the world and perhaps yourself in a new light. Stay tuned as we explore this captivating concept of divine love. Consider the world around us, isn't it a testament to God's love? Just take a moment to think about the marvel that is our universe. From the smallest atoms to the vast galaxies, everything sings of a creator who is not just immensely powerful, but also deeply caring and in love with his creation. Think about the sheer beauty and complexity of nature, the way the seasons change, bringing with them a new burst of life and color, the way the sun rises and sets, creating a painting in the sky each day, the way every single leaf, flower and snowflake has a unique design. Isn't it all too intricate and stunning to be a mere accident? Or how about the diversity and intricacy of life forms on our planet? From the majestic elephants to the tiny hummingbirds, from the colorful coral reefs to the mysterious deep sea creatures, every single species is a masterpiece. They all play a vital role in the grand symphony of life, each contributing its own unique note. This is all a reflection of God's boundless love. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 31, it is written that God saw everything he had made, and behold, it was very good. God did not just create a functional world but one that is full of beauty and wonder, a world that continually surprises and delights us. God's love is not a distant abstract concept, it is tangible, observable and all around us. It's in the warmth of the sun on our skin, the cool breeze rustling through the leaves, the soothing sound of waves crashing on the shore, the twinkling stars in the night sky, and the vibrant colors of a blooming flower. Every sunrise and sunset, every changing season, every new life born into this world is a reminder of His love. It's as if every day, God is saying to us, look around you, see how much I love you. Indeed, creation itself is a love letter from God. Ever thought about the ultimate sacrifice? God's love is often displayed through sacrifice. In the heart of the Christian narrative lies a profound story of sacrifice. It's a tale that's been passed from generation to generation. A story that has shaped millions of lives, and it's the story of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. This act of selflessness is one of the most profound demonstrations of God's love for humanity. The story is told in John 3.16, a verse that many of us are familiar with. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's a powerful statement about the depth and breadth of God's love for us. You see, God's love isn't a passive emotion, it's an active, dynamic force that moves him to action. It's a love that gives without expecting anything in return. How many times should we forgive? God's love is infinite, and so is his forgiveness. Consider the parable of the prodigal son from the 15th chapter of Luke's Gospel. This is a story of a wayward son who chose to squander his inheritance on a life of debauchery, only to find himself penniless and starving. In his desperation he returns home, expecting at best to be treated as a servant by his father whom he has wronged. However, the father's reaction is quite the opposite. On seeing his son from a distance, he runs to him, throws his arms around him, and kisses him. He orders his servants to bring the best robe, a ring, and sandals for his son. More than that, he calls for a celebration saying, For this son of mine was dead and is alive again, he was lost and is found. This is a powerful illustration of God's boundless mercy and love for us. Just like the father in the story, God is ever ready to forgive us, no matter how far we may have strayed. His love for us isn't based on our worthiness or our deeds, it's unconditional. His forgiveness isn't limited or rationed, it's infinite. God's love is a beacon always there to guide us back when we lose our way. It's a hand extended, ready to pull us out of the deepest pits of our mistakes. It's a warm embrace, welcoming us back into his grace, even when we feel undeserving. In the story of the prodigal son, the father didn't merely forgive his son, he celebrated his return, he rejoiced in his son's decision to come back home. This is the essence of God's forgiveness. He doesn't hold grudges, he doesn't remind us of our past mistakes, 
Instead, he celebrates our return to him, our decision to choose love, grace and forgiveness. Remember, God's love isn't a one-time offer, it's an ongoing invitation, a constant promise. It's a wellspring of forgiveness, always ready to cleanse and renew. No matter how many times we falter, his love remains steadfast. God's love is a wellspring of forgiveness, always ready to cleanse and renew. How does God's love manifest in our lives today? This question is the gateway to a myriad of awe-inspiring stories and testimonies, each as unique and varied as the individuals who share them. Let's journey through a few of these stories. Picture this, a young woman once lost in the throes of addiction, finds strength and hope in a community of believers. Through their support and prayers, she experiences a love so profound that it propels her towards a path of recovery. This is God's love, manifesting as a beacon of hope amidst despair. In another corner of the world, an elderly gentleman spends his days volunteering at a local food bank. Despite his advancing years, he tirelessly serves those less fortunate, driven by a deep sense of compassion and love for his fellow man. This is God's love, reflected in acts of selfless service. Then there's a story of a teacher in a low-income neighborhood, who goes above and beyond to ensure her students have the resources they need to succeed. Her dedication and commitment are fueled by a love that surpasses understanding. This is God's love, mirrored in the relentless pursuit of uplifting others. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of our modern world, we also see God's love in the quiet moments. It's in the gentle smile of a stranger, the comforting words of a friend, the warm embrace after a long day. God's love is in every act of kindness, no matter how small, reminding us that we are cherished and valued. These stories, as varied as they are, share a common thread. They illustrate a love that is patient, kind, and selfless. A love that does not discriminate but embraces all, regardless of race, religion, or social status. A love that is powerful enough to bring about change, to heal, to restore, and to uplift. In our everyday lives, in the midst of our trials and triumphs, God's love is present, woven into the fabric of our experiences. It's a constant reminder of His enduring presence and unwavering commitment to us. God's love continues to shine brightly in our world, touching hearts and transforming lives. God's love is all around us, isn't it? We've journeyed through the vastness of creation, witnessing the grandeur of the universe and the intricacies of life, all testament to God's boundless love. We've delved into the ultimate act of sacrifice, where God gave His only Son for our redemption, the most profound demonstration of His enduring love. We've also explored the grace of forgiveness, a gift that renews us, a testament of God's love that's always seeking to restore us. And finally, we've seen how God's love is actively working in our lives today, in the big moments, in the small, in the joys and the challenges. God's love is not an abstract concept. It's real, tangible, and ever-present in our lives. As we move forward, let's keep our hearts open to recognize these manifestations of His love. Remember God's love is ever-present, ever-giving. May we all strive to love as He does.